All right, I'm recording this because I want to look back on this in a future time and kind of just remind myself what's going on, why, why I'm going the path that I'm trying to go and if I need a reminder, this should be it. So I've been writing in a journal I started doing this maybe at the beginning of, uh, okay, so the end of Jul July. So it's been almost a month since I started doing this. And I did it because I feel like I don't have clarity. All right, I'm going to write that down, okay? Remember that. You lack clarity. I hope that's not backwards. <laughs> Am I going to show this and it's just all going to be backwards? Maybe I won't show it. I lack clarity. So I wrote, I had this, before I say what I wrote, I had this thought last night because I couldn't fall asleep and I'm laying in bed and what came to my mind was, I kind of pictured my desk. So my desk is actually pretty cluttered. It's not very organized at the moment. And I kind of envisioned that how my desk looks is how I actually feel on the inside. And it kind of was like, wait no that's true that's very accurate so i drew a picture of my desk currently like my mental desk and i wrote equals chaos aka a cluttered mind so i wrote that there's stress there's fear sadness confusion anxiety and uncertainty all over my desk so just, so just picture this desk just cluttered full of trash full of unnecessary unwanted sort of like negative things. And then next to this desk, picture a empty bin. So like a storage bin. So I thought, you know what? I wanna actually mentally visualize myself taking whatever's on my desk, so my stress, sadness, whatever, and like shoving it off my desk, plopping it into this bin, closing the bin, putting it in the attic, and being like, see ya. I don't wanna deal with you right now. So, then it gave me this mental image of me doing that is a representation of me getting rid of all that clutter, bullshit, and negativity to leave room for things like feeling co uh, focused and confident and happy and having that sense of clarity, that direction that I've been wanting. Because what I struggle with is because I lack clarity, I don't follow through slash stick to anything and this is very accurate so I come up with this is much this is very much so a cycle I'll come up with a goal a plan so let's say I'm like oh I want to take this course oh okay um and I say I want to start it in a month Okay, a month rolls by and you don't start it. You come up with excuses, you say you're not ready, but then, you know, you, you let yourself go with that. You say, all right, fine, whatever. You cut yourself some slack with that because you're just like, it's fine, maybe I'm not ready. And then you start feeling things like anger and frustration. So what follows because of this, feelings of anger, frustration, depression, confusion, and um, even things like uh, like low self-worth come into play here because you feel like your life is sort of meaningless. Like you don't have a purpose. You're kind of just like skating, floating, whatever phrase you want to use. You're just like floating by every single day with literally no intention of anything that you have, in, you know, you set yourself 
I'm like so unfocused that even just trying to do this right now is like literally so hard. It's so difficult because my mind feels so like, like upside down, like so confused. And I've been craving, like desperately craving a sense of clarity in my life. So much so that it just fuels me to get my fucking ass out of bed. But I don't have to like stay like this, you know? I don't have to pity myself and act like that this is like, you know, an awful thing. No, I feel like every person goes through this and it's not about other people anyway. It's about you. And I think when I started writing in this journal, I mean, my original goals for it, it were to, you know, write down this process, this journey, whether it was good shit or bad shit, whether you were happy or sad or not making much progress, you know? Um, I mean, I wrote here, self-growth is at your own pace. Don't compare your journey to others. It's true. In order to have clarity and in order to live your life with intention and to start making progress towards a goal, you really have to push all the distractions out because you obviously are struggling with your personal direction. You don't know how exactly you're going to get to this ideal life. And, you, and I, I maybe I need to write down what my, my ideal life is and not think about the practicality or, you know, get all like, well, this can't happen. Like, no, just write down the dream and then go back, start where you're at and figure out what do I need to eliminate or add into my life to make it happen. So I really, really wanted to do uh, an hour of like alignment for each day. And I, don't, I put that in quotes because I feel like it's, you know, my whole journey is about aligning myself. But I really wanted to have my mornings be solely directionally, intentionally set on doing exactly that caring for my body, so nourishing my body, deep breathing exercises, you know, pushing away the phone and saying, no, this is about the present. This is me, not about what's going on on Facebook or Instagram or literally anything online. That's the dangerous thing about your phone. You wanna know what's going on and you're addicted. And I wrote that. I said, I seek distraction through social media. And then my suggestion was rather than going on my phone first thing in the morning, do a deep breathing exercise. Like if you're in bed and you want to grab for the phone rather than grab for the phone, deep breathe. It's so hard to like just turn off the mind. You know, it's, it's just, it's not like this. You can't just do it because you're so used to letting your mind decide for you what you're gonna do, what you're gonna think, how you're gonna react. And it's very, very hard. It takes a lot of discipline to be able to say to yourself, I don't need to do that. I don't need to grab the phone. I don't need to check, I'm fine. You know, and my, my first instinct is to grab it. And then if I don't, if I don't look at it, because I'm telling myself actively don't look at it, then it becomes this tug of war in my brain and then I get anxiety from it. So it sucks, but I know it's something that can be changed if I just take the time to stick to it. You know, and I really wanna start doing <clears throat> so much more like video based stuff. Like I wanna be able to sit down and record and help other people and teach them things and have fun and learn. And I really wanna get into yoga and start doing tricks and really just 
getting to a different side of myself that I know exists that I just haven't tapped into yet. The reason why I made this video is because I want to be able to look back on this and remind myself that you want to make progress. You want to actually be able to say, I hit a wall and I said enough was enough. So I dove into a field that I have loved for so many years. I have been very passionate about holistic living. Uh, it is a bit overwhelming because there's just more and more stuff that comes out into the world that you didn't even think to consider like you know the products that you're using and uh like clothing that you order online being just covered in chemicals i mean there's just a lot but i mean i have loved literally have been obsessed with essential oils since oh my gosh it's been years i mean even before essential oils were like this hot shit online you know i've lived quietly this way and not i'm not like saying that i'm a holistic person i'm not i definitely still have things that i'm not holistic about but after having my own health issues last year and just seeing how much like medicine can fuck with your body, um, like anab antibiotics. I used to never think poorly about antibiotics. I used to always be like, yeah, if you need them, then you take them. No questions asked. But after experiencing what I experienced with antibiotics and seeing how much it negatively impacted my body and how much work I had to put in to get to where I am today. It's just, and, and to remember how uncomfortable I was back then. To remember all those nights where I cried so hard because I was in so much pain. All the days that I wouldn't go into work because I did not feel well. And it was so frustrating because I, it was internal, but it wasn't all the time. It was a few di times a week. And I, I mean, I honestly believe that there are some people that probably thought I was bullshitting so many times, but it was real and it was hell. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. I mean, I've had thousands of dollars in medical bills because I got so many tests done for not knowing what's wrong with me, feeling like I was crazy. And I was obsessed with figuring out my health, but it was over a year of shit. And I can't forget that. I mean, that's really, really what got me started in that. And even before that, I remember before I even got my, my last job, I remember sitting in a hospital because my one ex-boyfriend, his grandmother was in the hospital. I was sitting there on my phone looking at different like programs that I could get into for like holistic training. And I remember distinctly texting my mom about it because I wanted her opinion and she was so against it. And then after my father got his health scare, had his health scare, my mom had her health scare, you know, she looked at me like I wasn't crazy for wanting to do those things. And then I thought, I wish I had followed my gut because I would have done those things. But I'm, I'm happy that things worked out the way that they did because I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. But the pain that I endured from medicines and stuff like that, I would never take it back because it 
is a is a reminder that it's why i wanted to get into holistic stuff in the first place you know and i want to use essential oils all the time for everything for like every remedy possible because there are a million and one things that you can use i mean i use essential oils every single day and i have been using essential oils for years i mean when i had severe pain all the time from you know after taking medicines and my body being out of whack i would put essential oils on me every single day multiple times a day to help with inflammation and to help with anxiety and stress and to get me to sleep at night you don't need to sit there and think about what people are going to think about you because it's not about them it's about you what makes you happy and you are going to help people you're going to help yourself you're going to help your family you're going to help your friends you're going to help people that you don't even know yet so don't lose sight of your goal. Your goal is to do this program, to get in, be board certified, <laughs> to be a person of contact for people that if they need help with their health, they can come to you. And I know it's what I want to do. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Hi, so present Mia here. I'm currently editing this video and I just want to put out there that I had no intentions of actually putting this out for anybody to see. Um, I did hope that maybe I would have the confidence to do so and um, turns out I am. So um, I just want to come on and say that it has now been uh, just about a month since I actually recorded this and I have to say I was at such a low point during that time and you know I did that for myself because I knew how vulnerable I felt and I knew that I needed to see a progress. I needed to see where I came from and really look back and see um, how far I've gone. I mean to be completely honest with you like I had no intention of being like okay in exactly 30 days I'm gonna check in and see how much different I feel. I happen to be coming on my um, camera to record a different video which you will see at a much later time and I happened to stumble upon this and I was like holy crap I forgot I recorded that. I'm curious to see like what it's even about like literally totally forgot I recorded it and as I was listening I was like five minutes in and I was like I have to post this because even if one person goes on listens to even half of this and goes wow maybe I should pull out a journal and even a camera and even if it's only for myself to be like hey let's just get these feelings out let's talk it out let's journal it let's just be very very raw and um you know push all the bullshit out and say okay like this is how i feel but am i gonna do something about it i mean i hope so and that's exactly where i felt in that moment i was hopeful that i was going to actually stop going in circles and constantly say i don't know what i want to do with my life and finally go well let's figure it out let's be positive about this and actually do something and that's exactly what i've done and the mindset that i have today versus in August. So it is now uh what September 19th and this was August 21st. Like it's been about a month since then and my mindset alone. Like I can't say that like crazy things have happened in my life that are so different, but just the mindset itself has been so different for me. I'm so much happier. I'm so much more honest with myself and I'm actually more comfortable in my own skin, which is a huge milestone, and that should be something worth celebrating, and if that's where you're at, then that is so incredible. But anyway, before I like ramble on forever, I hope you find some benefit in this video. I know it's very long, I apologize for that. So if you only wanna know like little pieces of information, um, then just kind of skip through and whatever resonates with you and you want to listen to then go for it but yeah i made this really for myself but uh i felt like i could share it and maybe you'll find something worth uh utilizing in your life bye